Hey everyone, so we're doing a first impressions today, just got this in, and we're going to be covering Horizons, which is uh, new off the Zeitgeist collection from GLPs. Um, it is a English. It is said on the back, it says it's a medium bodied English with exquisite Turkish Latakia, matured red Virginias, touch of bright flu cured leaf, and uh, exotic orientals. So it's pressed and sliced into flakes and it's giving a rich smoky note with gentle sweetness and a captivating spice is what it says. So, uh, I mean, if you've watched my other videos, I'm a sucker for uh, GLP's English. So let's get right into this. All right, so let's crack this open. So I got this, we're gonna be smoking out of my Savinelli uh, EX320 champagne today. So let's crack it and see what we got. Yeah, that's a uh, that's an English, all right. I'll just say. Very smoky, woody. Man, this is the first one that I almost, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> very, very campfire woody smell to it. Very rich, dark looking flake as well. Maybe that's what they're talking about with that uh, Turkish Oriental and that it creates such a different like smokiness, rich, really, really rich. Yeah, that's, this smells like it's gonna be awesome. So, tear those off there. We'll start packing it in. All right, so we'll let this set out just a little bit here. Much better with the dryness. Just pack our first bowl here. I still can't get over the tin smell. Um, if, if any of y'all have talked to me on the forums or anything like that before, you know, I absolutely love, you know, dark, rich English. Um, it's, and this is what it is. This is a very deep, rich smelling English. Probably one of the richer smelling ones. Uh, I kind of compare the tin note would be uh, maybe like a Blue Balkan from McClellan's or um, it doesn't give the spiciness of the Palmetto Balkan that I like, but I would say uh, probably like a aged squadron leader gives that off a little bit. It's just extremely rich smelling smoke. Now we got that. So let's get this bad boy lit. Dang, this is uh, really rich. Um, just straight campfire smoke. But the Latakia, the Turkish Latakia has like, a, I can't quite tell if it's the Izmir but it definitely has a little bit of spice. Um, that is very good. It's a good, it's not overpowering. Um, it's definitely medium to light body English. Uh, the Latakia is definitely the front runner. Um, yeah, I don't really have any complaints. I'm about halfway through the bowl now. Um, 
definitely starting to get a little bit of the sweetness from the Virginias more. That first part was just straight Turkish Latakia. And really, the Izmir, not quite sure what the blend ratio was on it, but the Izmir I'm just getting at the back, um, which we were uh, smoking some more like Oriental forwards uh, the other day, and it was more singing the front on it. But this one, it is definitely just in the afterburn, uh, a little bit of the bitterness that you get with the Oriental, uh, but definitely that good, rich, um, I mean, almost like grassy floral that you get with the with the Izmir. But yeah, this is really good so far. interesting with the with the ten with the ten note on this I would have definitely guessed that this was going to be a much stronger smoke this is uh, very much a light medium body I'm not really getting any of the creaminess that I heard uh, people talking about it's extremely smooth though. Uh, the balance on the Latakia to the Virginias and the Oriental, I mean, you know, Peace is just so good with English blend ratios. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm, st I'm still loving this. This is awesome. Uh, more definitely more mellow so it's not going to be anything that uh is, is too overpowering or if you like the really bolds like um if you like more of like i was saying like the the blue balkan um some of the different uh like the atlas balkan bulk um pirate cake stuff like that it's definitely nowhere near as strong as that um but it still just has a very unique more campfire than like normal smokiness. Like the the regular Latakia that I've been smoking recently uh, is more like beef jerky smokiness. This is more like I'm sitting next to friends uh, with a campfire smoke coming up in my nose. Um, but it's very, very good. Just the faint, faint, faint sweetness from the Virginias. And yeah, so I would say if you enjoy Englishes and you don't mind having a lighter English, that's going to give you a little bit more of a unique taste to the smoky side, definitely pick up a 10. Um, I'll make sure that I have a full review out here shortly. I just really like to spend some time with the smoke and have at least three to five bowls down before I want to actually make a review um, so I can kind of get everything down. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out. If you liked the video, comment, like, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.